So this video lecture is going to go over some basic classifications or types of tires. There's a lot of information contained on all of the slides, so be sure to pause it if you want to learn more specifically about each tire. I'm going to kind of just going to give you a brief overview here in the video lecture for the different types of tires. So first off, the kind of probably the most obvious, we have your passenger or all season tires. These have those longer tread wear, good ride, reasonable traction, uh, kind of your kind of common one that you're most likely to see because they can be used year round um, or all season. Moving on from a passenger all season tire, we can have winter tires, particularly in areas that tend to get a lot of snow or winter weather. Um, this is designed for maximum traction in snow, kind of slushy ice, and you can see the different tread pattern um, over here, uh, located here on what's defined as a winter tire. Now they're typically not used uh, all season because they tend to be a little bit more aggressive uh, and better able to handle the winter type weather, but maybe not necessarily as good in other uh, kind of conditions uh, found during the summer and spring and fall months. They have all-terrain or mud tires. Now what you're noticing here is they're really focused on kind of off-road traction. Um, and they have really large kind of deep treads, uh, large knobs on the tires. Uh, so they're great for being off-road in mud where you need a lot of that kind of grip and traction, but they really don't perform great uh, on-road. Um, and their wear life on asphalt is probably not the greatest either. So again, these are a little bit more specialized for being off-road in this example here. And they're also typically oversized as well. Then we have uh, drag racing uh, radial tires or DOT legal tires. These are tires that uh, their goal is to maximize acceleration um, and to be able to allow a lot of contact with the road surface. Uh, they designed kind of for drag racing, a lot of traction. You'll notice the tread compared to our mud tires, much uh, reduced, a lot more surface contact on the road. Now, again, these probably would not be the best to be using in any sort of wet or kind of wintry conditions, but they are considered DOT legal, meaning they do have the depth required to technically be used on DOT roads. Now, in comparison to those, we have racing slicks, which their goal is really to maximize the surface contact that they have with the uh, road surface. However, racing slicks or true racing slicks are never intended to be driven on the street or exposed in near freezing temperatures. They have very minimal um, area here where any water could be sheeted off. They have absolute the maximum amount of contact, therefore used in a lot of racetracks and autocross only special use tires. They have something called trailer tires, which on a quick look may look very similar to an all-terrain tire, uh, but they're specifically built for stability, dur durability, and payloads, or not for powered vehicles. They're simply for to be put, towed behind on a trailer. Um, so if you're looking at investing in a crime scene that has you know, multiple tire tracks, um, and there was potentially a trailer involved in some way, towing something, um, these are gonna have a slightly different tread pattern, so they're gonna be something to investigate and to be able to section out from the towing vehicle. They have a temporary spare tires. So this is one that's, uh, there can be full size spares, there can be half spares or part spares. Um, again, differs by manufacturer, but these are simply light duty, special purpose, temporary use tires. So not something you're typically going to see unless a vehicle involved in the crime scene did have a flat and did have to change it and did have to put on a spare tire. Um, so again, just another different way or different tread pattern, different tread tire type to consider.